Hi everyone, about a year ago I did a video tutorial on a stereoscopic 3D FPV setup that was using the Bradbird View Sequential 3D camera and a pair of hip play goggles that supports View Sequential 3D video. However, the video output from my video receiver had to be recorded using a computer via the USB video capture dongle and using the virtual dark freeware in order to convert that video signal to side-by-side -side 3D video. This is the virtual dark software and basically there are a lot of settings to do for it to be able to process the 3D real-time video. Here I have the script files which I have written. I'm going to launch one of the script that does the configuration automatically. As you can see here, it's processing and configuring everything. And now the virtual dark settings are all set and I have some kind of a double image. I also have another script here that does the recording. So I'm going to double click on it. Once again, it's entering all the parameters that I need for the side-by-side -side stereoscopic view. As you can see here, it says um, 720 by 480. And this is the stereo filter. I'm going to hit OK. And basically, now I can specify the file name. And click Save. And then I can start the capture. So let me try to capture the video now. And it's capturing. As you can see here, the frames are moving. And I'm going to move my hands in front of the camera to see what happens. Now this is how the recorded footage looks like. You can see my hands moving there and it's all pretty smooth. The only problem is the cost of the setup here. The Blackbird camera itself is about 99 USD and then you have to bring along your computer to the field together with the video receiver hook up to the EasyCat which then uses the virtual dub software to record your video in real time. The thing is part of the video, I'm going to show you something which I come up with that is really cheap and easy to use. Now the Poppy 3D camera is a camera that uses your iPhone and turning it into a 3D camera using this enclosure here. It uses mirrors and light to allow you to capture 3D content unlike the Google Cardboard. So imagine if I have the Poppy here and if I only have the front portion and detach the back portion which we don't need. You could essentially mount this on a quadcopter but the downside is it will have to carry your iPhone and if you lose this in a crash you will risk losing your phone as well but if you think along the lines there's another product on AliExpress which does the same thing this is a 3D mini photograph stereo vision camera lens if you order one of these for under 10 US dollar including shipping this is what you get out of the box you get the 3D vision lens an attachment for you to snap on to your iPhone, Android phone or tablet, a cleaning cloth. But for this project we're going to make use of this and make it into a device which can record 3D FPV video. So I'm going to use my old trusty Mobius camera and by now I think you have figured out that I'm going to attach the Mobius like this. As you can see here, I'm putting the iPhone camera near to the hole. And despite the narrow field of vision of the iPhone camera, I'm still able to see the edges. In order for the Mobius camera to work, I had to replace its lens with one that has a narrower field of vision. I managed to find a suitable lens on AliExpress. This one here has a field of vision of 53 degrees. And it seems to work just fine. Here I've removed the old lens, the original lens which is 3.6mm and I've installed the narrow field of vision lens into my Mobius camera. Now that the Mobius camera is ready with the narrow vision lens, let's take a look at the other parts and see how we can put them together. 
here's a close up of the 3D lens and basically if you notice there are screw tracks which will fit in here to this part just like how a screw and nut go together like so by turning and now I have screw on the 3D lens to the clip so I decided to keep this part of the clip by using a dreamer tool to cut away the rest of the clip here which we don't need and I just need this little piece of plastic and I'll come to that later how we're going to use it but first I'm going to peel away the rubber cushion the rubber padding inside which I don't need anymore yep. now I'm going to go ahead take out my rotary tool and cut here so that I have this short little piece of plastic tab alright here's the end product it's finally done and basically I had the little piece of plastic which is cut out from the creep and the orange part here is a bracket which I came up with and 3D printed it now let's see how it fits onto the Mobius camera It's just, I just have to make sure that the horns here mesh up with the groove and slot it in like this very gently I give it a push and yeah let's attach and the lens here is flush with the Mobius camera And as you can see, it, it holds really well, very rigid. And there's an opening here for me to hit the button for recording. Now let's see how it looks like when I turn this thing on. Just bring the monitor forward a bit so that you guys can have a better visual of the 3D footage on screen. As you can see this is real time and I have the Mobius camera here and you can see the candle holder this is side by side 3D and you can view it using Google Cardboard for the 3D experience now if I hit record it's going to record in high definition so there you have it your very own 3D Mobius FPV camera